now let's discuss regarding the uh, testing for stored uh, stored uh, cross site scripting so uh, stored cross site scripting occur when the malicious javascript is injected into input field parameter header or after uh, returning from the web server so is the executed within the browser and become the permanent part of the page it's a permanent part of the page so stored uh, accesses occurs when the malicious javascript uh, stored in the database and is used later to populate the display of the web page so penetration tester needs to test all the client values sent to the web server to determine whether it's a cross site scripting is possible or not so let's uh, do the practical for the same now open the our lab now we will first check the cross site scripting and persistent second order okay now add to your blog okay now just we are pasting the text something here okay intercept on make sure just we are uh, intercepting the request uh, save to blog entry now we will receive the request here now we will use the payload cross site scripting uh, payload this one copy now insert the payload is here okay now forward this request and intercept on off and here it's a populated with the our uh, cross site scripting payload okay now click on okay button to close this pop up so we have okay that and now reload the page so you will see the alert pop up again this one so we are able to uh, get the malicious script uh, has uh, script has become the permanent part of the page so we are successfully shown the proof of concept for the uh, stored uh, accesses vulnerability if we are uh, putting the uh, clicking on the okay and refreshing the page still we are able to get the uh, cross site scripting uh, payload is here uh, uh, receiving the uh, uh, accesses uh, uh, vulnerability stored accesses vulnerability so this is all about the uh, stored accesses uh, vulnerability so you are you are will a, able to see the alert uh, pop up again and again it's uh, it will uh, permanent the uh, it it uh, it become a part of the permanent uh, part of the web page that